Good morning, guys. How is it going? Um, I had decided to vlog today. And I have not vlogged for a really long time for a number of reasons, but I think like the main one is just, um, I've kind of been like cultivating a new normal, if that makes sense. And sometimes in the midst of change, it's kind of hard to talk about. You know what I mean? Cause you kind of just, just don't know. Um, and I was definitely sort of in that place and it wasn't really a bad thing. Um, it just was, and I still don't know really anything, but I will say that my day to day has kind of like taken on a new rhythm and it's actually something that I've really been enjoying and also a very exciting thing about today. I feel like this is like the first day of fall. Um, it is in the 70s, um, which is really rare for Austin. And there's just like a chill in the air. And it's the first day that I'm wearing long sleeves and socks in general. Like I don't know the last time I wore socks around the house. And um, there's just something about like the seasons changing and the coziness um, and also the fact that today I actually don't have any like specific deadlines or like specific things that I need to get done. It's just sort of like moving all of the projects forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I thought it would be a great day to just have like a proper chatty vlog and just kind of fill you in on like some of the things that I've been doing and uh, some of the things that I've been thinking and just have some rambles and catch up. So without further ado, let's do it. So the first thing that I'm doing is one of my favorite ways to start the day, which is painting my to-do list for the day. Now I actually am not a huge list maker in general. I'm more of a go with the flow type person, but whenever I create a list, I never ever regret it. And this is something that I always just wish that I had the discipline to do every single day. Because also, I think it's kind of cool to go back and look at the various lists that you've made, especially when you take the time to paint them. And first things first, Etsy management. Um, I am standing here in my new little computer station in the corner of my revamped studio, which I'm liking. Um, I don't spend that much time at the computer. And then when I do creative stuff on the computer, I always seem to want to sit on the couch. So this is like a good little admin station that I can just kind of like make pit stops at throughout the day and I like that it makes me stand up. It actually is super helpful, um, especially since a lot of painting is done sitting down. Um, so on Etsy, I manage, like I jump on here about every other day um, just to fulfill orders and answer questions. And most of the questions that I get are around either like sizing of print, so someone will want a custom size of something or whether the prints are framed, which they are not. But I do um, post framed photos just because I think it's easier for people to imagine like what they look like on a wall if they're in situ. Um, so today I am fulfilling three orders 
and um, I use an online printer, a G Clay printer, which who produces beautiful, um, high quality prints, and I'll put their link down below. It's called G Clay Today, and I've been using them for three and a half or so years. Whenever I started my Etsy, um, I'm very happy with them. And so it's really turnkey. It's all um, drop shipped because my prints are so large and um, pretty expensive to make. So I can't really afford to have a stockpile of them or anything like that. And so um, I just uh, put in the orders with my printer and have my printer send them to my customers. And um, that is a really nice, um, part of my business because I actually really enjoy like the back and forth with customers and just talking about what I think would look good on for certain spaces and walls and stuff like that. So um, it gives me an opportunity to actually engage with and feel like I'm getting to know the people who I'm doing art for. And here we are in the brand new greenhouse that Russell, my boyfriend, and I constructed over the last couple weeks. I do live in Texas, so having a greenhouse is like a little bit obsolete for a lot of the year. But I do want to use it to start seeds and just as like a little sanctuary um, for me to get away. My art is, is no longer the same escape for me and I have really really taken refuge during this time in gardening and um, I'm learning. Like that's the other thing that I really really have been loving about gardening is that I am a total beginner and so I have um, what we call in Zen, beginner's mind about the whole thing. My perfectionism is kind of held at bay because I literally have no control. All I can really do is, um, is listen to the people who know more than me and to my plants and try to provide them with the best growing conditions um, that I can. And so it has been a joy like a true joy for me. Have I ever shown you my soft box? <laughs> I use this. I use this for shooting. Um, I have never once regretted this purchase, honestly, because you know what? I'm a sucker for light, I'm a total sucker for light. And I just, I want good lighting. So, let there be light. So one of the additions to the space that I really love that is super functional is this little wire hangy thing that I got from Ikea. So I use this thing to mostly actually organize any picture book stuff that I'm working on. That is what it has been most useful for, I find. So whatever I create the day before, I cut up into these tidy little squares and then I put it all up to see how it hangs together. And sometimes I just put up like little fun bits that I did on Instagram because I don't know, I find that I just like accumulate so much and do kind of cute things and then forget about them. So this is just like a good place 
to capture them. And this is a fun little project. So I've been teaching my boyfriend how to watercolor. Um, or really, I haven't really been teaching him, to be honest. He's been teaching himself. But last night, um, we painted these two little sunsets together off of the same picture. And I don't know, we had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. This was actually some of the most fun that I've had painting in a while, interestingly. And I think it's because like I took that element of pressure that I was talking about earlier off and I just went back to a place where like it didn't matter and I could just play and I wasn't the expert and I was like copying a painting and there was something really gratifying about that. And I must say that I actually am pretty impressed by his, like I find um, the art that he's been creating to be really like charming in a way. Um, and I feel like he doesn't believe me when I say that, but it's actually true. And the last thing that I have to do today is just chill out on the couch for a little bit of time and start to think about concepts and gather some inspiration for this new project that I'm working on um, with the client. And it's a two-part project, and the first part of it um, is to design and illustrate three posters for kids um, to be sold in their store. So the poster part of the project, I feel like, is going to be really fun. Um, it gives me an excuse to enter into this wonderful world of children's illustration. Um, and get paid for it at the same time. Because I think what people might not quite realize um, is that I don't really make money as an illustrator, actually. Um, I make most of my money from like fine art, almost all of it. Um, I do have some odd illustration gigs that come up now and then. Like I illustrated my first book um, recently, and I've, I'll be talking more about that soon when it gets released. Um, and I am working on writing and illustrating my own books around Mr. T, as we all know, as I have talked about ad nauseum, and it's still happening at a snail's pace. Um, but other than that, like this is a part of my business that I'm building, um, but it's not profitable pretty much right now. Um, and so I'm excited about this project because it's like an invitation to come back to this world um, and get paid for it at the same time. So that is a bonus. So my creative process um, is kind of like a three-part process. And the first part is always around um, gathering inspiration and kind of getting myself into this space, getting myself into this zone to create. Writing down just kind of like notes and like stream of consciousness. I don't really keep sketchbooks, like most of my sketchbooks are actually filled with words. So for a good week, it's like sometimes this is not possible. Sometimes you don't have a, a week for like the immersion phase. Um, but if I can, I give myself a good week and just like sort of dive into this world that I'm going to create. And um, what I find is that like over the course of the week, um, my subconscious does a lot of the work for me. I'm definitely a morning thinker and a morning person. And so I kind of like carve out and protect that time um, early in the morning, like when I'm having my coffee um, to just like brainstorm and kind of allow myself to write down any sort of ideas that come to me. Um, and then like later in the day is more for executing. So after this immersion phase is over, um, beginning next week, I will start to 
um, put some of this inspiration down on the paper into concepts. And so I'll sketch concepts for each of the posters and send them across to the client in rough sketch form, uh, which means for me that there's no color because the painting piece is the piece that really takes most of the time for me and my process. And for everyone, it looks a little bit different. Some people, it's actually like the sketching takes the most time and the color part is pretty seamless. Um, so they will be rough sketches. And then once I get client approval on those, I will take them into painting. And what about my painting studio, you might ask? Well, despite my best intentions, the painting studio has sort of turned into a makeshift grow station right now. We've got my little grow lights. <laughs> Oh yeah. And all of these seeds that I'm learning about, figuring out like, when do I start them? What do they like? All that stuff. Which then I've got seeds that I started yesterday. just how the cookie crumbles. And that is a wrap. On the day, I will spend the rest of the day editing um, this vlog, which always takes way longer than I think it's going to, but I am determined to have this done in one day and put it up online on Friday because Friday always used to be the day that I would post um, my illustration vlogs. And um, so I thought that it would be an appropriate day to post this one too. Um, so I hope that you guys are doing well um, during these times, which are super tumultuous. They are unprecedented times. Um, and I, I hope that everyone is doing as well as possible. Um, and it was really good catching up with you. So until we meet again, TTFN.